want the beast! Ah! Oh, no, my eyes! Ah! Telling me I gotta throw hands with Venom and come home to this? If them villains hold her hostage, I ain't even gonna bother showing up. Look, lady, whatever you're selling, I ain't buying, yo. Try again, says the critical drinker. The Joker in the Dark Knight would have had no leverage on me talking about some Maggie Gyllenhaal boy. Set the block on fire. I don't care. All right, all right. Here are some kinder ones. Turning into a reporter was the biggest fumble of all time because now she dresses like this, implying it's just the attire that's the issue. In fact, the clothes are probably helping hide how frumpy they want to make her. Another person writes, I long for the days of stylized comic book games, implying that the art style being realistic and not stylized is the reason she looks ugly when, in fact, this design choice is deliberate. And it was a choice made by Insomniac. When even China doesn't force MiHoYo to make its toned down waifus ugly, this is all Insomniac, which means Wolverine's development is going to be just as triggered and offended. Before I say anything more, this is a no way commentary on the real life actress who is usually, and in this case as well, much prettier than whatever ESG drenched Western games apparently made for the Saints Row reboot audience is mixing up here. On Elon Musk's X, I wrote, no puddle gate for this Spider-Man game, Mary Meaty Jowls Jane stops and sops up those spills with her absorbent face. I also insinuated that they'd unalive Mary Jane in the next game so that they could bring in a mysteriously much more attractive but diverse woman, maybe trans woman. AI can do better. I'm not saving this woman. Mary Jane is supposed to be stunning. What the fuck is this? Sony make one attractive female character challenge impossible. Gnarly man jaw and flat chest. It's tough. A commenter of mine said, Dios mio. You could put that chin in front of a truck and clear the snow off roads. With a face like that, it'll be the only plowing she's seeing. Spider-Man cleans up the streets in a different way, but this industrial-sized chin on this elderly madam will clean the snow off the streets of New York. Finally, Mary Jane making a difference. Over to you, Mary Jane. Oh, hello. How are you doing, Sonny? Have you seen my pill container with the letters that correspond with the day? I need to take my back medication. Peter, Peter, Peter. My back. Peter has problems with his back too. Not in this universe. You're pretty in that universe. Hello, beta testers. Like, <laughs> subscribe, comment, or correct me below. In my opinion, it's getting difficult to ignore the data that shows a clear pattern, a necessity for only females in only Western games in only about the last 10 years to bizarrely be downgraded, diminished, flattened, and made more masculine, which might not be noticeable if they simply hired actresses as ugly as what they intended. But in their woke pity, they hire beautiful girls that should have been beautifully immortalized in an industry now bigger than movies. But instead, even Mortal Kombat is stupid enough to waste Megan Fox. 
Compared to the appealing and fan-pleasing Street Fighter, Mortal Kombat's cranking 90s in the Sarkeesian school of bitchcraft and diversity. But when Insomniac isn't pandering to Latino people with the same Latinx garbage Bungie was blasted over a few days ago, only to have a discrimination lawsuit gain way more traction than it would have had they simply decided not to hypocritically silence the very people that they're pretending to support now that they're making Mary Jane in-game look instead of a bombshell like a blobfish or someone who's been stung by bees. Why so desperate to be the white savior? And who else is using terms like Latinx other than people obsessed with uglying up women? But beta tester, when we see a woman, what they see is a cisgender biological female. She has too much. So remove her breasts. Age her more, more than others. And instead of ever approaching something a male might want to gaze at, make sure to repulse. 2% of people use the term Latinx and even that sounds like a stretch due to the people probably not voting. But she's a redhead. And for the sake of driving home my point, let's slowly observe this and ask yourself the question, why do we have so many examples of specifically this? Miles Morales could never be allowed to look like anything other than a squeaky clean ass bitch, so Miles Morales can never be as cool because he's stuck in the safe, sanitized, inoffensive box that woke culture has crafted for him. Which only makes it funnier when we get the Don't let anyone tell you what you can't do. I'm Spider-Man. I'ma do my own thing. Like, bro, okay, do it. You, who's your, who's your superhero? Who's gonna stop you? In this way, characters like Terry McGinnis and how they deviate from Batman are so much more interesting. To me personally, you know, off point. But, but this Miles could never be that. This Miles is a prop. And I'm sure that won't be the last time you're hearing that. I am in no way having a problem with people enjoying him and I'm glad that the character resonates with people for a change. But it's honestly done so off the backs of storytellers who were talented enough not to push their fans away, but to reel them in. Just like Spider-Man benefits from the success of talented game developers that probably don't think we should be going this far in the uglification either. Why these hypocrites are allowed to be so racist, sexist, and above all intolerant of anything or anyone that disagrees with their cult doctrine is insane. They refuse to discuss, they instantly dismiss and sidestep and refuse to address their hypocrisy. So I request to those of you starting something and creating something, be careful who you give any control to because these people are selfish and they only care about their cause which changes every day whomever woke up and chose to outdo fable in the repulsive air quotes woman category you have succeeded when pretty women big breasts and fan service are the enemy to these people this is what you end up with I ask you seriously, please leave your thoughts on this, and not just because it pushes the video's visibility, but because I want to know the percentage of you that lines up with the, oh, it doesn't really matter, or, well, I'm starting to recognize this as indicative of a trend, or you know like I do that when you give an inch, they'll take a mile. I love you and your chests and congratulations you're hotter than the bombshell mary jane in the sony incarnation of spider-man and if you weren't worried for wolverine before you should be now because mature doesn't really mean anything when mortal kombat's too pussy saints row is too cringe and the studio is too woke to the patrons Thank you.